What's up everyone? Today is going to be a good day. I feel. We went out yesterday and crushed the smallmouth. There he is. Golly. Golly. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so awesome. I'm cranking. And if you haven't seen that video, go back on the channel, surf around and watch that video. And yes, I'm with my best friend, spiritual mentor, Jamie. Me and him travel together. I'm up here basically getting Jamie time is what I'm doing. You know, look at him. He's, he's blushing over here. But it is always important to have people in your life that mean a lot to you. And we'll talk a little bit more about that today. But today, we're going out cranking for largemouth. And... I want to try to show you guys today how to be more efficient when it comes to cranking. Everybody, yeah, you just throw out there and reel, or it may be casting, it may be distance. I'm going to get into a little bit more in depth on what you would do in whether you're a tournament situation, practice. How do I become more efficient at cranking? And it's probably going to be something that you don't that you don't really hear of a lot or it might be thinking outside the box or whatever it may be but today i'm going to teach you and show you some things that i do when i crank in a certain situation what are you do what what are you doing you ready to launch? what are you like i'm in the boat and i'm not backing up are you ready to launch? we we were partners for like six years he ought to know that when i step in the boat he ought to have it in reverse what is he doing guys i recorded the actual session out on the water and some i must not have hit record so i'm going to do this after the math why do i choose a spinner rod you're getting ready to see in the rest of the video some efficient cast some efficient you know whether the wind was blowing the spinning rod when it comes to finesse crankbaits uh why not use a spinning rod why not everybody thinks that if you use a bait caster, you're, you're a power guy, and if you use a spinning rod, you're a sissy fisherman. Well, in this video, you see me making very accurate casts, and what I mean by that, you saw me catching some on the riprap, but there's a world of difference, like say you have a slope, there's a world of difference if you're landing and each one of my fingers is a foot in, in, in depth. There's a world of difference if I land six inches to the left or to the right, and I'm not accurate with my cast, that's a lot of wasted time fishing down a ledge, fishing down a rock bank, fishing down a 45 degree bank. Uh, spinning rods are gonna let you cast further, cast in the wind, less backlashes, blah, 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 blah. That is my choice for the spinning rod. Swallow your pride, swallow what you know, swallow what you've read in magazines and what you've seen people do on TV. You are much more efficient as you're getting ready to see in this video with the spinning rod and finesse crankbaits. What I mean by that is basically eight foot or less, just small looking crankbaits. There he is. Uh oh. What do we got? Drum, probably. No, he's coming to the top. Might have us a bias. I think we got us a bias. Right where he's supposed to be. <laughs> now, if I would have tried to swing that fish in in a tournament with one hook like that, you know he never would have been. He never would have been caught. I mean, uh,. He would have jumped, jumped off. There's fish all up underneath the boat. There he is. That's so cool. I love throwing small crankbaits on a small rod. And yes, this is a small bass. I know. 
but the accuracy that you can get with these and it's about feeling when you got something with small hooks or whatever it is it's about feeling you know it's a finesse crankbait everything we finesse with is with a spinning rod why not finesse it you're more accurate with cast with a spinning rod Uh, hey, there he is. There's one. That's so cool about that is, oh gosh, he got off. Dang gummit. That's what you get for hossing them, you big dummy. Big doofus tail end. We're right here at the tail end. Got him. I knew it. Ooh, nice small mouth nice all right guys this is pretty cool this big ferry as you can see is taken off and it was creating current that went against this rocks and i could tell it now it's like our current is going away our tide our current and that's a small mouth nice hey there buddy Nice. What are you gonna let him do? Doing the bill dance. Doing the bill dance, he says. Uh-huh. get a picture for Instagram on that Instagram time There he is. There's a fish. Oh gosh, that's a nice one. There's a nice one. Man, that's a big, oh, that's a big large mouth. Big large mouth, Jamie. Big large mouth. Oh. oh. And even when it comes to finessing them on a you know finesse them so they don't get off it's hard to beat a spinning rod that's what i'm telling you guys is that i know spinning rod seems like a sissy way and you have to have a bait caster to you have to have a bait caster to to be a man guys just like cranking this riprap you guys heard me explain to you what we're doing I'm gonna put him in a picture. I'm gonna put him in a live well for Instagram picture for later on. This is my trash can. Welcome to my trash can. But even when it comes to finessing them, guys, you can just finesse them so much easier with a spinning rod than you can a bait caster. Like that cast right there, I mean, I'm telling you, like I couldn't have whipped it. The wind's coming straight into our face. 
There he is. I got another one. And my drag set too loose. Uh-oh. I set my drag loose from before. I hit it. Very next cast, we catch one. And this is a little one. Now the drag was set way too loose. I didn't tighten it up. I had it turned out. What are you coming up here for? Hey. Hey, what are you coming up here for? Man. Look at that. That. There's no way I could. There he is. Oh my gosh, got another one. Three old three cats. That's a good one too. That accuracy. I'm. I know I sound like a broken record, but just the accuracy that you can do with a spinning rod. I mean, I finesse that in right, right against the um, rocks. And I ain't saying you can't do it with a bait caster. Don't get me wrong. Don't trump me. But, ooh, ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. What do we have going on here? Chasing them. Oh gosh, that's a big large mouth. That's a big, oh gosh, that's a big one, Jamie. <laughs> oh, do not be afraid of, of spinning rods. Watch your line, man. Oh, guys, don't be afraid of spinning rods. Mm, mm, mm. Woo wee, that is definitely an Instagram picture. That's a big one for. That is a big one. Caught him in the top. No. Nope. Oh, that was so dumb. Hey, buddy. Good gosh. That's a giant for um for uh, Lake Erie. Oh, my gosh. Look at that pig. Yes, that is. Check this out. That is definitely a Instagram picture bass right there we will you are going to be famous buddy not only are you famous you are educational to these to these youtubers and to me Mouth right there, big small mouth, big small mouth right there. Again, it's so crit. Oh man, that's a nice small mouth. Look at that small mouth, it's so critical to make the right angles on that calf on, on where you're fishing at. Like, we got current. And you guys, again, you heard me talk earlier. Like, if I would have missed, if I would have missed that cast, you know, I wouldn't have caught that fish. That's a nice small mouth right there, buddy. Hmm. Whoa. Look at that small mouth. Look at that small mouth. That is just neato mosquito, guys. Sissy rods at work. Finesse crank baiting with sissy rods. Mm, mm, mm. Woo hoo. That's awesome. There he is. Oh my gosh, that feels big too. In this current, like I know I can't stress it enough and I don't know what I got, but if you can see this seam, yep, it's a large mouth. If you can see this seam right here, okay? There's a world of difference between, you know, five, you know, three foot this way, two foot this way. And once you figure out the seam, you're able to make more accurate casts, longer casts, 
to get bit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's so important to, to make, make sure you have the right cast. All right, guys, we're gonna do a little bit of reflection time. And if you have watched this video, uh, me and Jamie have been fishing together for a few days, so I've been filming. And if you haven't watched the smallmouth smackdown uh -oh. on the crankbaits, you need to go back and watch that one. That was probably one of my favorite videos that I've ever done. Uh, today, you saw me talk about finesse cranking and you know why why i choose to use a spinning rod for my crankbaits uh when i say finesse crankbaits i'm talking anything from zero to eight foot just smaller crankbaits uh you guys heard me talk about it but i want to reflect a little bit and i'm gonna let him do a little bit of talking because i want to hear his perspective and he doesn't even know that i'm doing this so jamie over the last two days what perspective have you gained from fishing with me the last two days? Well, I'll be I'll be serious for because I, I I do like to joke around. I'll be serious. It's it's an amazing thing. I am an avid fisherman. Fished most of my life. Think I'm okay as a fisherman, but Dave is definitely these pros are in a they're in another universe. Um, it's definitely just attention to detail. Um, they are in these these guys are in their environment, and I guess I am not. But that's one thing that I take away from it is there's there's just so much to to think about out here, and if you're not watching every little detail, you're going to miss out. Hey guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video on finesse cranking. I uh, hope you learned something. And I hope you're not going to be afraid to use, aka a sissy stick, for cranking. You don't, you don't need a bait caster all the time if you're using a crank bait. Guys, just bite the bullet, put a little sissy wand in your hand, and you can see the success that we had today. Hope you guys learned a lot, guys. You can go back if you're new to the channel. Go back, surf around a little bit. We got a lot of footage and, and a lot of videos on this channel. I just started. Uh, this past year is just basically my first year doing this. I hope you will continue to watch the videos that we do. Comment below, guys. Comment. Hit that like button. That, that sure does help the channel grow a lot. And Jamie, where is my Jamie boy? Jamie is going to do the outro for the cranking video. So let's, let's see you do it, Jamie.